contrast in the tie and the shirt. But what did you love the most? Oh, no tie bar. I love winning. <laughs> I love winning. All right, so follow that up, coach. All right, tomorrow. <laughs> And finally, the injuries keep piling up for the Warriors. Kevin Durant is questionable for tonight's game against the Kings. He's got sore ribs. Clay, Steph, they've already been ruled out. Golden State trails the Rockets by two games with 14 to go. And on top of that, Houston holds the tiebreaker. It's starting to look like that two seed is a lock at this point. So, Nick, how vulnerable will the Warriors be if the, uh, in the playoffs if they you know, don't have their stars healthy? Right. So I think a healthy Golden State team could lose to Houston especially with Houston having the one seed. A fully healthy Golden right. State team could lose to Houston. So the reason we're discussing this is the question is, if they are missing one of their guys, will they even get to Houston? Right? Could they right. be beaten before Houston? Yes. And, and I think for full disclosure and kind of a roadmap, when we start this season, um, you breaking down Golden State, there's 60 extra games in the playoff. We haven't seen a team do it over a four-year window. Given that Paul George and Melo were, had come to the West, we knew Houston added Chris Paul and some other pieces. So we said at the beginning, we're concerned about injury because this window, we haven't seen it. They, they've been very lucky. And also, this is probably going to be their toughest time getting to the finals. So we were saying that before the season started, and then now. And Bam. that was before we knew Houston was going to instantly gel, was going to race out to the one seed and basically hold serve there except for the couple weeks when Harden was injured. And so the point that I want to make is this. I think I think what they are, obviously, clay has got a broken, a slight hairline fracture in his thumb, so he has to be out. Kevin Durant, they are being cautious. Draymond Green, they are being cautious. Steph, they might be cautious, S Steph, too. they are being cautious, but you have reason to worry. But it's more worry. serious. Right. It's more serious, and you have reason to worry about it recurring. They right now, like San Antonio's tied for the seventh seed. Like if you have San Antonio with Kawhi coming back in round one, Portland in round two, you need a fully healthy roster. Like so, I, the, mm -hmm. the injury that I am concerned about is Steph Curry. I'm not worried about him being rusty. I saw him miss a game in the playoffs, miss a few games, come back, score 17 in overtime, and declare I'm back a few years ago against Portland. I'm not worried about rust. I am worried about that ankle injury recurring because. You, they will not, I will tell you this much, if Steph Curry sprains his ankle in the postseason, they will not make him play through that. They will not risk the long-term stability of their franchise player's ankle, who they have under a max deal, because they need him. He's too important, and that injury has too much history where they're concerned about its long-term future. So that's the thing is we now have to, we have to give Portland enough respect to say, if Golden State's coming in wobbly, maybe, maybe they could beat him. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing it does is people in Golden State might not call it a successful season if, beginning of the season, if they had lost to Houston in the finals. Mm -hmm. All right? But now because these injuries, we gotta, we got to start walking it back to, wow, can they get Nick Wright? Can they get got in the second round or before they get to the finals? I believe that conference that's finals. conference. Yeah. It, so that's what, that's what to me is more in the play now that now these other rounds become even tougher. We thought it would be the toughest run that they ever, ever, ever went on. I mean, last year they went through the playoffs so quick. They lost sweep, 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 and then one game to Cleveland. Right. So now those other series, you know, I just believe those to be far more vital, far more taxing, and the, it brings into the question, wow, can they lose these series? Which this is, is a yes. team with four All-Stars, four potential future Hall of Famers yes. on it. You're telling me that if you maybe take one out or one is not 100%, that three can't get the themselves through the Western Conference? I believe that they could get to the conference finals with any one of those guys missing except for Seth. Now, CC I know, thinks that the, all four are very, very critical to them. I don't think they could win the title necessarily mm -hmm. without one of those four. I think they could get to the conference finals without one of those four unless that one is Steph. We've seen this year they're a good, not great team when Steph Curry's out of the lineup. He is the key that unlocks everything they do. All right, we'll go back to some football now. Kirk Cousins arrived in Minnesota yesterday with 84 million reasons to be happy. That's the number of dollars coming his way. Cousins made every start last season, threw for more than 4,000 yards in each of watch, 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 watch the camera, watch the camera. Oh, yeah. In each of the past three seasons, to add that kind of production to a team that made it to the NFC Championship last season is what Vikings fans hope will get their first Super Bowl appearance in over 40 years. Here's Kirk Cousins. You know, I look forward to to playing here 
as you know, Rick said yesterday, um, you know, th this is a lifetime deal. You know, that's the goal. You know, I, yes, it's a three-year deal, but uh, the expectation is from both sides that uh, you know we'd raise our kids here, and that you know if everything goes as planned, that I'd be here a long, long time. Cece, what do the Vikings need to do to consider the cousin signing a success? Uh, they need to win it all. I mean, you're talking about the franchise that I love, my heart, I bleed for the purple. Um, what they did for my career and for my life, man, th this is my team. But it, the expectations are real. With that, with that 28 million guaranteed, man, we need a Super Bowl. We got a good team. We have a playoff team, regardless of who they have at quarterback. Case Keenum had a great year. That gets them to the NFC Championship game. Now, Teddy suffered plenty of injuries. Um, uh, Sam Bradford, they had him filling in, suffering injuries. They were still a playoff contention team. They were absent of a quarterback. The Will family, that being Ziggy and Mark, they grew up in New York City, grew up in Jersey, being New York Giants fans. They never thought they'd be able to own the New York Giants. The opportunity came, and they were able to put their money down, their life savings down, their family's wealth down on the Minnesota Vikings. And since they've come there, they've transformed that team. They've gotten a new stadium that other owners could not get done in the state of Minnesota. They just opened 30 days ago a state-of-the-art training facility and practice facility, a new office space. So they are successful. We're going to run out of breath before the Wilfs run out of money. And they are committed 